Kicking off this list of helpful open source Android apps, let's start with password. If you're the type who forgets login details, meeting codes, or Wi-Fi passwords, this app takes away the stress. It's simple, secure, and completely free. You set one master password before entering the app, and everything you save stays locked behind it. You can store anything, account details, device passwords, birthdays, and even small notes tied to each entry. It keeps everything neatly arranged and easy to find whenever you need it. Next up is MPVX, a clean and modern video player for anyone using local media on their phone. The interface looks fresh, the folders are well organized, and the playback screen gives you plenty of control. You can navigate frame by frame if you want the perfect screenshot, adjust subtitle timing or color, switch audio channels, zoom in, or use gestures on the screen. It supports picture-in-picture, -picture, sleep timers, and several detailed settings for anyone who wants a bit more control over how videos play. For note-taking, Another Notes is a great open-source option, especially if you prefer something lightweight but still feature-packed. It has labels, reminders, swipe gestures, pinning, and sorting, all the basics you'd expect. What makes it stand out is the ability to reduce preview lines. If long previews annoy you, you can shrink everything to just two lines, including the title, which keeps the app looking tidy. It doesn't have every single feature Google Keep has, like text styling or label colors, but those are small trade-offs, and you can still back up and restore your notes easily. Moving on, Force Stop Helper is one of those utilities that quietly makes your phone feel easier to manage. Instead of digging through settings to stop apps running in the background, this tool lists all your apps in one place. Tap any app, and it sends you straight to its info page so you can force stop it in seconds. You can sort the list, search for specific apps, or even pin your most used ones for quicker access. It's simple, quick, and saves time. If you ever need to translate text without an internet connection, Offline Translator is a solid solution. Once you download your language packs, everything works offline. Whether you type text, upload an image, or take a photo, it uses OCR to replace text directly on images, while still showing you the translated version beneath it for easy copying. It's reliable, accurate, and surprisingly handy in everyday situations. Finally, we have Fakeout app. Fakeout is an AI detection tool that examines images, text, or videos to check whether they were created by a human or generated by AI. It analyzes patterns, metadata, inconsistencies, and digital fingerprints that are common in AI-produced content. The app then gives you a confidence score, telling you how likely the material is fake, altered, or AI-generated. It also helps you spot subtle manipulations that the eye might miss. Even when an image looks perfectly real, Fakeout can detect blurred edges, mismatched reflections, or texture patterns that often appear in AI-generated visuals. For text, it checks for unnatural sentence flow, repetitive structure, or grammar patterns that don't match genuine human writing. And for videos, it examines frame-by-frame -frame details, lighting consistency, motion artifacts, and audio mismatches that may reveal editing or AI involvement. The app is built for everyday users, not just experts. You don't need technical knowledge. Simply upload the content or paste the text, and Fake Out breaks it down in seconds. It presents the results in a clean, easy-to-read format, so you can quickly understand what it found and why it flagged something. Fake Out is especially useful for content creators, students, journalists, and anyone who wants to verify authenticity before sharing something online. Let me know which open source apps you personally enjoy. And if you want more app recommendations, tap the video on your screen after this, or check the description below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.